Hey guys, welcome to my Jurassic World Lego set 75916. This is my first Jurassic World Lego set, and I'm very excited to start building it. Uh, what caught my attention out of this one was the Jeep vehicle. It's not a Jeep, but we'll call it a Jeep. Uh, it looks pretty cool. It's got like uh, some missiles on top, and then the little Jurassic World logos on the side, and the capsule. I think it's just pretty cool. And we have a green Dilophosaurus dinosaur. Which they seem, uh, I was doing a little research on them, they can be up to 27 feet in length from head to tail and weigh as much as a 1,100 pounds. So we got two figures. We got gray and an ACU and the dinosaur, of course. It's a little close up for you guys. Now it looks like the capsule is going to rotate and the figure might just stay stationary in one position, which is kind of cool. And here we have the Jeep, which can shoot some type of uh, green missiles so you can defend yourself from the dinosaur. Then what seems to be like a spare tire, or I'm not really sure, can kind of rotate. And of course, the other sets have more dinosaurs, which I might consider getting in the future. So let's get to the unboxing and see what's inside. Of course, we're going to get the usual bag number one. And it looks like it's two bags. Let's see. Yeah, bag number one. And bag number two, we got part of the capsule here, at least one part. And let's see, we got the dinosaur itself, hmm, interesting packaging. And we have book number two, book number one. Oh, and the other part of the capsule. And we get some stickers, which Lego, please print these on the vehicle or the other parts. It's, I don't really like putting stickers on the Lego parts, but I'll let you guys enjoy the time lapse build.
And we finally have the set completed. Let's take a look at the dinosaur first. Now this Dilophosaurus, simple, easy build. Of course his legs can move. The tail, unfortunately, is just stationary. It can't move anywhere. As far as the arms, they can kind of move up and down. And my favorite feature is the mouth, of course. So you can kind of make him look a little angry by opening his mouth or closing it. And the head does move side to side. Which uh, can look like a friendly dinosaur or a mean dinosaur. Depends which way you put him. On to the coolest thing. Well, one of the coolest is this capsule. I really like how it just stays stationary. The little uh, mini figure in there. And then it just rotates. So I'm pretty excited to see the movie because I believe this was in the trailer. This capsule. So we'll see how that happens. But yeah, it looks pretty cool. It can be a little difficult to try and get them out once you put them in there. So I'm just going to leave them in there. And on to the vehicle, which is my first uh, land vehicle for Legos for any set that I've owned. Now this vehicle looks like a Jeep. And of course it has these little missiles, which, oops, so we can get the dinosaur. And we just hit him the first time. But overall the build was pretty cool for the, for the Jeep vehicle. It's got some really nice rubber tires. And this rotating thing in the back, which I don't really understand what it's for. Of course, if we take this little thing, torch, you can make make it like kind of a convertible. And of course, it's got two little crates here where you can put some uh, dinosaur meat. And it's got a, another one with a wrench and some binoculars. doesn't seem to want to stay but yeah it's got a nice little spot in them in the jeep so you can put them in there and they won't fall out the thing you got to worry about is the actual things inside of them falling out now the only thing i kind of wish this jeep had was some type of locking mechanism for the top because sometimes it can be a little crooked because i'm adjusting there So that's the only thing I did not like about it. But with the simple adjusting, you can kind of get it in place. And it'll be good. Let's put these uh, missiles or projectiles in place. It's got some pretty cool yellow lights and some stickers, which I wish it was, it was printed on there. But yeah, uh, it's got a little license plate in the back, some dinosaur scratches, and of course this uh, little winch thing is pretty cool. Now there is no lever to uh, roll the string back up, but it's not that difficult. You can kind of see the way I'm doing it and it's pretty quick. And then it has a little spot on the bottom where you can put the little hook, which is pretty cool. But other than that, the build itself was very cool 
I like uh, building the vehicle. That was my favorite part because it had the most pieces. But yeah, you can kind of put the chicken, chicken leg, give it to the dinosaur. Let's see if he'll grab it. And it looks, yeah, dinosaur with the chicken leg. His head's falling off. <laughs> and I don't know, you can just place the wrench any random spot on the vehicle. And the binoculars, put them somewhere. You can put them in one of the minifigures' hands or just put it on the vehicle, like if he just left them there. But overall, I really like this set. I uh, hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, please let me know in the comments below. Do you guys plan on getting this set, or do you already own it? Thanks for watching, guys, and stay tuned for more LEGO content. And I'm waiting on the Series 14 minifigures, which I hope they release them soon. But yeah, thanks for watching, guys. Don't forget to hit that like button if you enjoyed the video.